Welcome to the Startup Grind. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about uh, as uh, you, you eventually leave EA, you left, the, you were you were there uh, till about 1993, um, and and I wonder, uh, you know, t talk to us about uh, the ups and downs of an entrepreneur. You 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 went through this stage of you bootstrapped it, you quit your job, you bootstrapped, um, you hire all these people, you raise funding, you build this massive company, you go up and down all these different business models, you know, these different opportunities, deals, partnerships. Um, you know, is is that an experience that that you know you would do over again? Is that an experience that uh, you know? How did it change you? Tell tell us just a little bit about you know building a company from nothing to to what EA is or and has been become. Um, what is that experience like? What you know? Tell us tell us about that. Yeah, you know, I, th I think if we're going to be true to ourselves, uh, you have to understand your identity, and you have to accept the gestalt of it and realize that. You know, there's going to be the good with the bad, and uh, there are going to be uh, things you're better at, and in some ways, it, the ways in which you're better at them are going to create liabilities and weaknesses somewhere else. And if you have a lot of success early, like I did, uh, inevitably, it's going to that's going to create some problems. You know, it's going to go to your head. I mean, you know, and Steve Jobs went through the same thing. He he really struggled in the 1980s, for example. So, uh, basically. Uh, I think this is just the way real life asserts itself. Um, you know, again, honestly, I think we all kind of, a lot of us go through this experience where uh, you're chasing ideals, you're driven, and there are flaws with both of those things. Because the ideal is not satisfying in and of itself. It's the idea of it that you fall in love with, not the reality of it. And that I think, I think entrepreneurship involves a lot of ideals. Love involves a lot of ideals. And so, sometimes we're caught up in the ideal instead of dealing with the real. And maybe, maybe that's just because I'm a strong N. I'm just a very intuitive person. Maybe that's more, more specific to my personality type. And that, that it causes you to end up having uh, uh, blind spots you know, in your uh, judgment and, and not being in touch with what's real. So uh, 3DO, uh, it was a, a bold idea, and you know, just wasn't realistic. And I wasn't, at a, you know, I, I'd been on such a roll for a number of years that I wasn't really that open-minded about what anybody else had to say about it because I didn't really particularly care for the alternative. The alternative was accepting the idea that companies like Nintendo were going to take over and we were going to be servants in their kingdoms. Yeah. And guess what? That's where we are now. <laughs> That's where we are. Uh, it isn't Nintendo, but, right. but Nintendo basically invented the business model right. that everybody operates now from, from the platform side. There's no self-respecting platform that's going to take less than the 30% number that Steve came up with. Um, I still have no idea how he decided on that number, but we're sure stuck with it now. 